and welcome along. My name is Jamie and uh, I am one half of Cumbra Contracting along with Thomas. Uh, today I'm uh, working on my own. I've been contracted by uh, Mike Ryan of uh, Newlands Farm to uh, do some uh, uh, to do some grass cutting, uh, rowing and baling to make into silage bales. Uh, so we're going to get started on that by doing the uh, by doing the mowing, obviously, which is what I've got here. Uh, I've got my uh, T, uh, yeah, my T7 uh, Blue Power here, uh, hooked up to our Pottinger mowers uh, on the front of the back, and uh, and we're heading over there now. Thirty-five is whoa, a bit, uh, is round here. Uh, so we're, we're back over the other side of the river today and uh, yeah should be uh, should be a good little job this the field is not huge uh, the field is uh, so we should be able to get all of this done in a pretty timely fashion I think uh, if I'm right it's over this way somewhere bottom here. I'm just going to go and check my map and check exactly where I am. Yeah, so checking my map, uh, it is down here. Uh, just down here on the right in fact. And uh, and that will should be a entrance across either a ford of a field or a bridge. Actually, that's, that's not the field there. This is the field here. And there's the entrance. It's across a bridge. go uh, so we will fold that out turn it on don't need my indicator on fold that out coming into the field we're not too bad yeah, I don't think. there we go right and turn that on and down that goes as well Right, there we go. So yeah, we want to get this, uh, we're going to do sort of a couple of headland cuts first. Uh, and then once we've got these done, we'll go round and uh, and we'll cut into the main body of the field. As I said, not a massive field, so I'm not expecting this to take too long. We should be able to get it cut and rowed certainly fairly quickly. didn't have my front mower on. So unfortunately, we've done most of the first round uh, without the front mower, so I'll have to run over that quickly again. Uh, Bursa's should be, uh, should be quite, quite good yield coming off this, uh, which I'm quite pleased about. We'll be able to, uh, to get quite a nice set off this. For them should be a good number of bales as well, I think. Uh, and they'll need to, yeah. Once they've been, uh, once we've cut them, and uh, or once we cut this and got it rowed up, we'll be able to very quickly get the um, uh, need to get them wrapped pretty quickly uh, because obviously if we don't get it wrapped, then we have an issue all through the mud. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like we were cutting a little bit, but it seems to have disengaged. Oh no, because we had it on, but it wasn't lowered. That was what the problem was. The uh, the lowering mechanism on the front didn't seem to have gone down, but that's all right. What we'll do is we'll finish off going around here like this, and then we'll just cut in for our second headland at this point, as if we'd come in at that bridge. And it's much easier for us to cut uh, with our side mower on the inside of the field. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to basically do two headlands. And once we've done those, we're going to start cutting in and we're going to cut sort of two blocks round. Same way as we would cut with a, uh, with a combine harvester. Uh, the idea being 
that uh, you then always keep the edge. In this case, it's so you can always keep the edge that is on the outside. And, uh, and get it so that uh, we're, we're always easily able to follow our edge. It's quite a bit of mud there. Not surprising considering it is at the uh, entrance of the field. But uh, yeah, these are cutting very nicely. I like these mows. Uh, we've had them for a while. We've had them since we, we set Kumba uh, contracting up. And, uh, and yeah, it just sort of works nicely uh, and does what we need them to do. Right, there we are. So two headlands will do us well. I'm going to cut in about here-ish. There we go. Go straight across to the tree, and that gives us a nice straight line to go with. And then we can just sort the field going out from there. Uh, so, like with like with combining, there are two trains of thought to this. Uh, you've got the whole thing of uh, doing it how I'm doing it now, so in the same way as I would uh, as I would use combine. that up um, and uh, and just sort of widening this here and the other train of thought is to uh, to do the opposite to uh, to cut in in a couple of places or, uh, or just to uh, do the um, uh, to then go up the outer edge and, uh, and do it that way I uh, I quite like this method I think I think this works quite well works well when I'm combining and uh, and works well when I'm doing this as well just really a, a, a good method for getting an easy cut. The rear mower up. Nice round. Obviously, we've not quite got the same manoeuvrability as with the um, as with the combine for when we're turning. It's down as well. Good. It does, it does the job, and, it's, and I'm really loving this T7. This T7 is just, has been a dream to use ever since we got it. Uh, and I love the colour. The colour is just that such a rich, lovely, shiny blue. Um, that, that this special edition is just, you know, I absolutely love it. Get, you get that nice glint off the, uh, the bonnet every so often as it, as it shines. But yeah, it's it's nice to have. And we got it, as I said before, we got it for a really nice price. Uh, it's a nice, efficient piece of kit. Uh, so it has, it has worked very, it is working very nicely. It's, uh, it's doing what we need it to do. Uh, of course, the first place we, uh, we used it on was uh, was when we went and did uh, the silage harvest over at Letton Farm, uh, which was uh, which was quite cool, and uh, and it and it really sort of showed its ability there in uh, in, in as a as a utility tractor for carting, uh, and of course it's showing it here again in that uh, in that we're now mowing and we could do we could pretty much do most things that we're after most things that we are looking to do as a contracting company uh, both this and the Massey that, uh, that Tom has will um, will cover you know most jobs that we're trying to do most jobs that we're after all right I need to put the front down here there we go and back as well There we go. So that is, yeah, that's cutting nicely. Okay, 
working really well. So yeah, we are my uh, my contract for this job today, as I said, is to uh, to get the cut field cut uh, uh, road and bale. We don't need the rear down. So the front will handle this. in again. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get this cut and road hopefully fairly quickly. I, I think I think for this vlog uh, I will probably just be cutting it by those things uh, and, uh, and I'll continue the job off camera as it is quite an extensive job. We are coming into that time of year now where we are going to be doing a lot of silage and a lot of work like that. So, uh, it's, it's a time of year I really like. I mean, we do it, we, we, we tend to end up doing it uh, sort of three times a year. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's always a nice time of year, a good, fun time of year to be working. And, uh, and I get a lot out of it. It's, uh, you know, it keeps us, silage stuff always keeps us busy, always keeps us uh, doing doing a lot of work, uh, getting the grass ready, cutting it, rowing it, you know, all of that. And we do get a mix, so we get a mix of, uh, of between uh, people wanting to do silage bales and people wanting to fill their uh, silage clamps. Uh, as I said, in this case, uh, he is after the uh, the bales being done. Yeah, there we go. Right, there we are. So that is uh, that is coming along very nicely. I might even I might even get this road this one. Windrower and uh, and get this road up quickly. As I said, we have a nice wide windrower at the farm, at the, uh, at the, the contracting uh, yard, so uh, we can bring that down here and, uh, and get this road up. Normally, I would have uh, Tom and and I on this, and we would sort of just work our way through it. Um, unfortunately, he's off doing another job today, and so it isn't available. Uh, to help me with this one, uh, but that's good. You know, a split between jobs that uh, that works well. That um, that means that we are able to get this. We're able to split ourselves and uh, and get more money in that way, which is always good. Right, there we go. Very well, I'm really happy with it. I keep saying that. It's uh it's true. You know, I you tend to I tend to keep saying things that are true. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Have I cut I think I might have cut this. I've either cut this really well or really badly. Ah, I see uh, our employer, our uh, the person who's hired us for this job. Oh, I've not quite done it right. Um, it's, uh, it's working the next field over. So that's good. Uh, which I guess is why he's asked us to do this job. Uh, is because uh, he's busy dealing with crops. if I've lifted that from my uh, I've made that mistake a few times uh, this far. 
Ah yes, I can see he's solid fertilizer spreading. Guess what he's up to. It won't matter so much because we'll be doing the whole, um, uh, we'll be rowing it all up. So even though that these bits aren't in rows, uh, we can very easily get them ship shape and ready uh, in no time. Uh, that will be easy enough. Right, and there we go. And now we're into the whole thing of uh, how do I cut this last bit? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try and cut some straight bits like this. So this was the other method I was talking about. It's a bit difficult when you get onto the end. To, uh, to do it straight, but it's, um, no, we're not doing too bad. There we go. And that will just finish it off rather nicely. Excellent. I'm really happy with that. That's worked a treat. Right, so that is us done. I am going to head back to the yard, uh, get the wind rower and get this road up. Uh, but for now, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos from Cornbrook Contracting, please subscribe to Virtual Farmer and Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.